Hello everyone, Salty the Hyena here. Welcome to another bot build showcase. Today we're checking out the terrible Tormentor Nelly. If you've ever been up against one of these guys, you know you hate them. These are really important for squad play and these are, I will have to say, more or less defining for any game they are in. The constant stream of fire coupled with the insane knockback the bullets from the Tormentors have makes it um, probably the best defensive weapon in the game for a squad. To be able to hold its position as long as possible it's rocking 3 heavy AFPS armors for a whopping 65% AFPS resistance that's over 30,000 hit points against AFPS. It also has a 42% resistance against heat to help against all those javelins. This is a tank. Because you want to be able to peak as fast as possible, you are rocking uh, accelerators. And since you are Tormentonelli, you are rocking radars. Uh, currently, this Torment this Tormentonelli is set up with feeding gears on its weapons. Feeding gears are the build with the highest DPSC, but it means you will have to fire all the time for it to deal a lot of damage. That's basically true of any Tormento build. But some people advocate running all magazines, others advocate running and uh, reinforced ammunitions. Yeah, I have them all. Uh, most of them are good. I think to a certain extent it's a personal preference. In this game there's only gonna be AI. Uh, this is not a particularly good bot for grinding AI. But it does okay. It is quite slow. It's not as horribly slow as uh, they used to be back in one point something. But they're still quite slow. And some might... Uh, some might claim that these are not the most exciting bots to play. And to a certain extent they're correct. But they still take a lot of skill to pilot correctly. You need to position yourself, you need to be able to outmaneuver your enemies and yeah. A skilled player in one of these is a terrible thing to be up against, especially in a competitive squad versus squad environment. As you can see my accelerators make me quite agile, which is really important because you want to be able to peek quickly around corners, etc. You uh, also want as big a chance of avoiding javelins as possible. I made a mess of things there. You have to excuse me. This at least showcases how the bot handles. It takes a bit of practice. As you can see, the jumping ability is quite important. And also you you you're really slow and all that all and it doesn't matter if you're really fat and if you can take a lot of damage. Cause you you die if you take sustained fire you die faster soon enough. 
So being being able to get out of harm's way is extremely important. And that small bit of agility that accelerators give you over, say, a capacitor build, I, I, it at least gives you an edge over other uh, Nelly that are Nellies that are capacitor based. And uh, yeah. As a Tormentor Nelly, your biggest enemies are gonna be Inquisitors and um, Cerises. Um, you could make the case that if you were gonna run Manglers on this bot, you could run. You could argue that Capacitors might be better, because you generally want to ambush players. You want to jump out, do a lot of damage, and jump back. Uh, in in cover again. And if you ran uh, manglers on it instead of tormentors, you'd also want something else than radar. You'd probably not want stuff. You probably want either uh, EMP protection or you might want some core armor. As you can see, uh, to be able to keep a constant stream of bullets going, uh, it takes quite a lot of work. And I personally think that this bot is, isn't very strong against AI. And you generally, it, it also performs better on Desert than it does here in Arctic. But yeah, I lost half of my weapons and my chest is almost gone. I guess this video is nearing, it, nearing its end. I hope this vid gave you some insight into piloting the Tremantan Alley and why, <laughs> why you need it and why it needs to run heavy armors and stuff. Just hit me up in the comment section if you have questions. Thank you for watching. See you next time.